everyone, I'm Katrina and this is Piera from the channel Piera Ford and today we're going to be doing a spoilery discussion on God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. Dun, dun, dun. It's a sequel to Nevernight, so if you haven't read either of the books I would not recommend watching this video because we're going to go into some details about what happens in the second book of the series. At this point in time in which we're filming, she has a spoiler free review on her channel. I do. And I'm planning on doing a spoiler free review before this goes up. So hopefully it all works out. I'll have links down below. I do have a Nevernight review and you do as well. So I'll also link those down below. But at the moment we're in Melbourne at the airport. We came down here for the God's Grave launch. Which was awesome. Which was, yes. Mm -hmm. And we cosplayed as Mia and Ash and it was oh, a lot of fun. Oh. Jay's a, a giant. I'm not actually human. that short. Like these two are very tall. Like really tall. I'm not even that tall. You're not like I'm not abnormally tall. I am taller than average. Taller side, but I'd like to think I'm average height as like 5'6", 167 centimeters. Yeah. I'm average human height. Yeah. And then I'm just a, a little bit taller and then Jay's, Jay's like, like a phone pole. <laughs> Let's discuss Let's begin. God's Grave. So if you haven't seen our reviews of God's Grave, we'll just like, I guess, start with just general overview of the book. Mm -hmm. What did you think? Well, I mean, I loved it in general. I loved, I don't know, like as you were, we were discussing this last night as well, it, yeah. it's such a different book and vibe from Nevernight that you kind of can't compare them against each other. It's very hard to compare them. We obviously get more world building, we get heaps more world, mm -hmm. heaps more Roman inspiration, mm -hmm. which I thought was really cool. And a shit ton more characters, mm -hmm. and obviously some of your old characters, some of your old faves. Exactly. Which is or least faves. That's true. Depends how oh, you yeah. feel. <laughs> General plotline, I guess, is... Mia competes in this tournament. I forget what Kind of like a word gladiator is. tournament. Gladiator tournament. Um, in order to, the prize is like you, to get close enough to Julius. Consul Scaper. That, those guys. She'll be right next to them pretty much if she becomes the winner of this tournament. And she's like, this is a perfect opportunity to kill both of them mm -hmm. in one go. To be decides. in the tournament, she has to pretty much be sold into slavery as like a gladiator warrior for yeah. her domina, which yep. is like domina. I think of Red Rising when I think of <laughs> Read it, but just like master. Yeah, her master sort of thing. Yeah. So she's in like, I guess, a little team of gladiators and there's yeah. a bunch of different, like you've got like your sword gladiators, mm -hmm. you've got, I don't remember any of the words. They're all, there's so many like Roman words. Yeah, but, that, remember, but like, that Jay has also tweaked. So it's just like, he did, did yeah, it. he Some did. Some of those words aren't actually real. Yeah, but they're <laughs> like obviously based on ones that you recognize. You kind of gather what they are. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of new characters that we meet, which are really cool. There was a lot more action, I think, in this one, like a yeah. lot more bloodshed. Like at the very end mm. of Nevernight, it is a blood bloodbath bath. But um, in both sense of the word. This one was more violent. Yep. And violent consistently vi violent throughout the entire thing. Because mm. like never like leads up to it, but this is like she's training, constantly training, going through different rounds of the tournament, which was really cool. Speaking of the tournament as well, that round where it was like the two teams that were like yeah. reenacting that um, I found siege. That, I, found that hard, I found that hard to visualize. I thought she was genius how she, um, one of like the Put fallen them, men yeah. um, of the other team came over the wall, she, she got their helmet, jumped across and infiltrated the other side and pretty That's much decimated clever. them. That was freaking But I was also kind of like, can one small girl do that? That is very true. She's like a taken like beast. Sid or someone else with her. Sid. Oh, Sid. So you meet Sid and you're mm -hmm. obviously like, you're a fucking gronk. Like you're oh my God, a gross, disgusting, like, feral little man. Obnoxious. You go to love Pretty him. crude. And mm -hmm. then you go to love him. Sid was in the Kingmaker's <laughs> uprising mm -hmm. under Mia's dad, but then he bailed before the actual uprising. Mm -hmm. Hence why he has coward written on yep. him. Um, but he was still very he loyal, was still loyal to, to them. So when family. he realized who Mia was, he was just like, protected oh, protect. Big it was just so cute. So let's just get straight into the bit that we actually really want to talk about is the romance. Yes. <laughs> That's all we really care about, right? Yes. Would you like to elaborate on okay. what the general gist is now? So, you know what happened at the end of Nevernight with Ash killing Bay? Oh, trick. Yeah, <laughs> we meet Ash again in God's grave. As like Mia's basically sent to assassinate and take her out because yep. she's got a map. Which I didn't the red see church coming on her back. I didn't see that either. I, see I that. thought that was very clever. Very clever but girl. the red church are after that map and it's like um, a magical one. So like if she's killed, it would disappear sort of thing. Kind of like the slave marks in yeah. Nevernight, if you read the footnotes. Yes. Basically, she needs to be kept alive in order to have that map. But Ash is kind of like, I've got knowledge you want, blah, blah, blah. What do you think it's a map to? Do you think it's a map to, um... But is, would it have to do with the moon thing? I think so, yeah. It's it probably do with, like, where he fell. Yeah, and some more information about, which we still have no information know, about. Kind of so skip that whole bit, which I was kind of frustrated with. A little bit frustrated, but I'm, that just makes me so much more excited to read the third one. Mm -hmm. Like, Jay, I need it now. What are you doing? Come on, We'll man. find you. I'm, I'm sure we, we can find you. Yeah. Anyway, so we meet Ash again. 
And so Ash and Mia are reunited. And they're kind of forced to work together oh. after Ash kills Jessamine. And that happened so quickly, I was just like, wait, what? I was like, alright. I was expecting she dies, like she gets impaled. Oh my god, it was oh, brutal. I was, I was like, like, I couldn't, I had to stop for a second. I was just like, <sighs> I actually honestly didn't care that much. I just kept, I was like, nah, I, I didn't really, well, bye. I've never liked Jessamine, but I was like, that just happened so quickly. I expected to see more of her being Jessamine. a meme. I said Jessamine. Jessamine? Jessamine. Jessamine. Mm. Jess. I just call it Jess. Call it Jess. <laughs> yeah, I kind of expected to see more of her in it and just mm. be like annoyed with her. No, but they then, at least not be friends, but like I expected to see whatever more kind of dynamic. Yeah, besides exactly. like you've been forced to work with Jess. Yeah. A romance develops between Blossoms, Ash, and Mia, and I do feel conflicted mm -hmm. because obviously Ash killed Trick, who I'm in love with, mm -hmm. and I think that the development. It. I don't think from. I don't like, believe it. One hundred percent. Like I know Ash. For me, you see I know, that in book we know one, exactly you see in book how she feels. But I think that Mia does go from being like, "Oh my god, you killed Trick, the fuck just, bitch," boom, just gets over that real to quick. get developing kind of like strong feelings for her does happen a little quickly. Oh. They don't really talk about the whole Trick thing or even killing Ash's Osric, brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah so brother, like, did we not? We didn't mention that. Yeah. So I do think that development that did happen quickly. At the same time, though, I loved I seeing love them together. Them together, like I do think they work really well together, and the sex scenes were. Amazing, darling. Amazing. Good gravy. I don't think she specifically says like I love you. I don't remember. She might. There's a like a line about like this is what love is or something mm. like using the like the yeah. love. And I'm like I don't believe that from me as end mm -hmm. that she loves Ash. Like I know obviously there's obviously there's feelings for her. Obviously mm -hmm. there's confliction. I love it, but I don't believe it. Yeah. And like I want them together, but I also. I don't know if I see them as endgame. Well, obviously, like, they're not endgame because Mia fucking dies. Yeah, which, which we, we all about knew at the beginning in of the, the first, first page line of Never Night. So that's not a spoiler. Yeah. But yeah, I'm interested to see how. Because at the moment, I think at the end of God's Grave, she ends up in the hands of the Red Church. Mm -hmm. Sort of. And Shadow Octopus, which we'll get to. I'm interested to see how that, that romance and those feelings pan out in book three. Yep, um, definitely. I'm very curious to see how it goes. Because I'm, I'm assuming in book three there will be some more kind of conflicts between the two of them killing each other. Yeah, like how do you get past a lot of that? I know. I mean, they obviously do it so They're kind point, of on but... equal ground now, at least. What I was going to say earlier is there's so much like raunchy sex shit in like literally in the first few chapters, me is like having a threesome with some people. Like, I don't read a lot of smutty books. So I, it's always Either. interesting to read just straight up blunt sex scenes. Like there's no fluffy Sarah J Mass romancy like looking deep into my eyes and talking about feelings. It's just sex. And I was kind of down for it. I, I was really like, enjoyed yeah, it. I like, like there's no sex. Like the first me is first experience in mm -hmm. book one. Just fucks a random sweet boy. Yeah. So I was like, like cool, it's right. a pleasant thing. And it was just like, it's not always now romantic and, and fluffy and pretty. It's and even with Trick it wasn't. It was exactly. more, just like angry passion and shit like that. Exactly. It just doesn't really want. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I'm here for. The times that she did fall into bed with Ash was when shit was going down in the gladiator world. Yeah. So it, like using Ash is kind of like a reprieve or like yeah, it that's very takes true. her out of her mind sort of thing, which is again why I didn't believe in the love part of it. So I think she's probably kind of using not, Ash yeah, a little using bit, her, but like, like not in not like actively a, using not, her, yeah, her, like using her for Mia. Yes, that makes sense. Needs she needs it. Of, she deserves yeah. it. She's been going through freaking hell. And look at her track record. Like every time she's had a shitty time, she falls into bed with Trick. That's very one. true. That is very That's true. That's like her coping mechanism. And she kind of admitted to. Well, I mean, she said she used him to kind of anger him. Yeah. But I think that that is partially true as well. So may I say that was one of my favorite scenes in Never Night. Where she was like later lover, I and mean, when they were fighting at the end. <laughs> so different, different book, but that was one of my favorite things. That's like Mia, you motherfucker. There's a lot of sex. There is a lot of sex. A lot of things. The Darken. We meet so, Furion, which is so, a fucked up name. I hated it so much. I hated <laughs> reading it. I hated saying it. I hated Furion. Furion. At the end of Never Night, Lord Cassius. 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 Yes. So I was thinking Cassian. So, so was yeah. I. <laughs> In Never Night, he dies, so we're not able to pick his brain for what the hell the dark in her, what Mia is, that side of her. And then we have Furion in this one who has like closed himself off to he that side of He doesn't even know what it's he, about. He doesn't know anything about it. He doesn't like to acknowledge that it's part of him. Like when he realizes that Mia is also a dark in, he is just like, you're a no, monster. Stay away from like, me. Ew. Which, yeah. Which I thought was really interesting because obviously it does. It was kind of cool. It was cool. And like obviously I really want to know, but at the same time, like, Mia doesn't get any. My favorite was who she her. was like, brother. And he was like, fuck. Off. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting them at one point to just like ravage each other and just yeah. have real angry sex. I and just like picture kind of kill each other in the process. I pictured that happening as well, like some angry sex. Alas. <laughs> kind of sad it didn't actually happen. I would have been all for it. It yeah. just would have been interesting. Because there's, there's those few well. times where they're like, 
our shadows would dance. That was another they thing were I like imagine. attacking, but sensual. Their shadows were literally like, just like shadow fucking in the corner. Yeah. Um, but just, there's like they like it was like they locked eyes and they could feel each other's like passion. And there's like at some point they were like fighting and he was like hard underneath her. And yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Um, Which kind of reminds me of that scene with Trick. With and Trick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was one again one of my favorite oh, scenes where like so she's like good. she looks I down and he's hard. Loved, I, was, I loved like, so yeah, much. I was enjoying it. Ever read him. They're like angry but hard. It wasn't sugar coated and soft. That's what I liked about exactly. it. Exactly. It wasn't like heroes mm -hmm. with passion. Like old mate is pissed. Mm -hmm. He's horny pissed. But he obviously dies, and Mia inhales him. Basically absorbs, absorbs, him. absorbs him. Like at the very end, he, she, her shadow was dark enough. For how dark must that shadow be? I was like, oh that's gosh. like I'm looking at my shadow. But obviously, it it's like in black. true light, it's light most of the time. Like they yeah. don't have true dark, so her shadow wouldn't. Be very I imagine dark it would just be black begin with. at this point, it would be like yeah, pitch black. black. Then also, because Furion doesn't have like a passenger, like he doesn't have yes. Mr. Kindly, he doesn't have a clip, so is it just him in the shadow? Because that's one of the <laughs> things I was thinking, I was like, human being yeah. just pops out. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> oh, or she maybe, the human. or maybe he eventually forms into a shadow being. I hope it's a like, bird. That'd be cool. I hope it's like an owl or something. It won't be, but I hope it is. Mm. Um, That'd be really cool. That, Plot line that thread didn't go where I thought it was gonna go. Yeah, I thought we'd get some answers from there. Even though he didn't know anything, I was still kind of thinking that there might be something. They discover that something they'd together. Yeah, um, but um, he was like, he, there were times that I was so mad at him because like she'd go to use her powers and he could like block her or he'd something. He'd stop her, and I'm just like, fuck, oh, don't do it. She would use it in the gladiator tournaments to, to gain win, advantage, yeah. and he was like, no, you have to play fair. Like yeah. you're not allowed to do it. And I'm and not then, about that life. And like, you cheat if you need to. You cheat. <laughs> Well, she's there on a mission. She has to win in order to achieve her goal. So, like, yeah. I'm just like, throw me, throw me. In general, like, I'm that kind of competitive person. Like, I yeah. cheat to win. We meet this weird alien chick. Like, she's gone in a few minutes, but I was like, that was weird. Silkling? Yes. Who was just basically yes. like a spider? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I found that weird. Like, I, I didn't imagine that sort of fantasy element playing mm. into this. Does that. I'm just playing into it in the next book. Are there now more yeah. different races of being that I guess? we haven't yet met or anything? Yeah. I wonder if there's going to be more of those or more of other creatures as well. Because most of what we see are like humans and then obviously yeah, like dark. Exactly. I didn't really have many feelings about like the actual gladiator side of it. Mm -hmm. Like it was cool, but I was also just kind of like. I really liked I found, it. Yeah, I found. I'm <laughs> sorry. Like, I cared about the Red Church and like the Assassin's School more than I cared about the gladiators. Like I liked mm. the characters. Um, like I loved the twins. They were twins, right? They weren't just brothers. I think so. They were twins. I think so. Oh, I mean, yeah, because one of them dies and it was yeah. fucking devastating. That was really devastating. I wasn't was it? heartbroken. Like the fact that she screams for him and then runs for him as opposed to the finish line. Yep. I don't know why that just made me really sad. It made me. I was yeah. devastated. Like they like, had to like tear her off his body. Anyway, that, oh, it that was, shit made me sad. And then she just. She wasn't alive after that. She had already yeah. died. Even with like stuff with like Maggot dying. I think I was more sad about Fang dying. No, Maggot dying absolutely destroyed me. I didn't care about her that much. I love her. Because she just seemed so innocent to me and just like the death of that innocence yeah, like, just really breaks me. I just, I just couldn't care about it. Like, she, oh, she was sweet. I cared about it. She was like a good, a nice plot point. Yeah. But then I just, I didn't care about her enough to be like, damn. That really did destroy me though. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't vibe it. Mr. Kindly and Eclipse. Oh my God. I love the banter between the two. It's my it favorite the funniest thing. thing. It just gives me so much life. Like 90% of it. Like, although there's a bit where Mr. Kindly and Eclipse are talking about how dark Mia has become. The animosity that I noticed between Mr. Kindly and Mia, mm -hmm. the side around this time around, I, it made me sad sometimes that she would actually like get angry at him. Yes. No, I felt the same. Well, she's like, that? yep. No, I felt the same. Like, oh, Whereas like, Eclipse was like the one who was like, be dark, kill them all. And Mr. Mm -hmm. Kindly's like, well, maybe we should consider. And he's like, yes, so master. Not. When yeah. she like sent him away yeah. before she was going to do Ash, she like actually sent him away. And he was like, as, as it please you. And I was like, my son. I imagine he has like an old English man voice. I mentioned, mentioned he was in, his voice was inspired by someone, and I can't remember who it was. Mm. I'm thinking more middle-aged. I'm thinking but like not Alfred from Batman, <laughs> but like not. Like <laughs> no, I could picture English it though. I could like picture that though. Yeah. What do you imagine me yeah. sounding like? I go a mix between Australian and English because the the way it's written, yeah. it's very proper. Yeah. So that's where I get the English from, but I get the Australian from the tones. Yeah, like the, the sentences she says. Mm, obviously, I'm like that's being written by an Australian, Australian author. Yeah, I was like, that's really interesting. I've but never actually thought about the accent. Obviously, when I'm reading it, it's my voice in my head. So I've never really thought about it. But I, just, I would, I would say pretty like not really strong Australian, yeah, yeah, but yeah. more Australian than anything else. There are still some sentences in there. Like a lot of the time when I'm reading, and it could be an acting thing, it could just be a normal thing. But when I read a sentence, I feel think how natural it would sound yes. coming out. And there are lots of sentences in there with the proper English language uh -huh. that I'm like I'm always like, 
that's weird. Like I, lo- I noticed a lot of it when um, she first met Trick, mm-hmm. and she was talking to him really like it was really formal. And Don Trick. I feel like for some reason I can't imagine me speaking overly formally, but then I remember she was raised formally. That's very true. Went to shit. And like obviously, it's fantasy, but I think set in the past as well. So mm-hmm. I think they probably did have some more formal speech. Formalities, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just find it like a lot yeah. of the shit she says is really blunt to the point. Yeah. Just casual sort of shit. And then there's mm-hmm. some shit that's really formal. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like. I, it's really hard to differentiate and yeah. imagine it's the same character. Mm-hmm. I guess I wouldn't say inconsistencies in her character, but I find it hard to marry the two okay. together. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? I didn't really pick up on that very much, but I think that if I listen to the audiobook, maybe I've listened to the audiobook. I'm, I'm planning on doing this at point soon. Okay. I'll let you know how that goes. What else is there? The brother. The main point. Oh, right. So the big reveals at the end. Yeah. So what do we learn? We learn that her dad was actually in love with the. The man. The guy who was going to make so his dad was uh, like, going with Gail, like by um, Regardless, he was in love with a man. I'm pretty sure they said that Mia's mother and father weren't ever really romantically, that related, romantically in yeah. love. Like they loved each other as friends. Like mm-hmm. they were happy to be married to them because they cared about each other. And but I don't think they were. And stuff. Yeah. So I don't think they were romantic. So I'm, it's not like specifically labeled as anything, but I had I got the vibe that. He and that's the thing, thinking back again, like thinking back yeah. in like those times when that sort yeah. of stuff happened. The male leaders had male lovers yeah. on the side apart yeah. from their wife yeah. it was all normal sort yeah. of thing yeah um, exactly so that was another thing that i was thinking and especially yeah. in ancient roman society they it's did that a lot all the time yeah, yeah. and then julius Sca- scaver oh no it's, oh who's the other person Cons- it's consul scaver isn't it i thought it was julius scaver there's so many characters it's hard to keep know, track of. I was thinking. Consul Skaver and Cardinal Duomo. Right, oh, okay. Duomo. Okay, Duomo. Yeah. Sorry. Apologies for that. Consul Skaver, the big dude, is actually her father. Yes. Surprise, surprise. And also the father of her younger brother, Jonan, who mm-hmm. is also alive. alive. Which and I did also see coming. Darkin. Yes. Which is very exciting. I saw that coming. I knew, I, saw, I knew he was alive, alive and, and, Darkin, and Darkin, Darkin, but I did not picture Skaver being the father. Does that mean Skaver's uh, Darkin? That's what I was curious about. Because he has the dark. Wasn't. Yeah, but he and he has like the, the classic the dark hair and everything yeah. like that, which is where she would have inherited a lot from. So that's what I was thinking as well. Mm. I'm just like so. Um, so basically, Julius adopted John and after like he sent Into Aelin, the philosopher's whatever, stone, the philosopher's stone, which I still can't separate from Harry yeah. Potter because um, I don't seem <laughs> like I still can't because his wife couldn't have kids. Right, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, so they basically just adopted him. Yeah, um, and so I think he's obviously been raised mm-hmm. thinking about like Scape as his dad. Mm-hmm. Um, but then when Mia wins the gladiator tournament and goes to do all that stuff, she does kill the cardinal. Mm-hmm. So we do win there. Yeah, but she also kills Scaver. She thinks she does. She thinks he does, but he had some find out. thought, and he yeah. ha- basically had an impersonator who looked like him. So obviously that person dies, um, mm. but he's still alive and in league with the Red Church, and she captures her brother John and brother John and brother John and, and just like yeah. shadow disappears. <laughs> that was a good like that was. I just imagine her like spinning because I remember reading they were a few falling, times and they? she like spins and jumps yes, and just and disappears. Like, <gasps> I was like, I can see that. And at the very end, it's like film. some people say yeah. that she disappeared. Some people say that blah blah blah. Some people say that she. Disappeared into the water and out yep. through like the funnels. I was yeah. like, that also could have happened. That is very true. It's <laughs> also she could have done that, but, but um, she shadow. She's obviously also in league with Mercurio, who we mm-hmm. meet again. Um, who's just good a little, to see him. He's back. a little gem yep. when you think about it. Yeah. Um, and I love that he didn't like blindly follow her when she asked him to like betray the Red Church. And, I like, also like that he didn't betray her. He is loyal to her, but at the same time, he does like he is obviously conflicted because that's his whole life work, basically. So he challenges her. He's not yep. just like sweet, cool. Yeah. He makes um, her think about it and just like yeah. Is this what we're doing? Okay, I love it. Doing. I love it so much. I love him. I, I want to see more how, of him. Yeah, I loved how good Ash was, like trying to help Mia throughout yeah. the whole thing. Like, and trying to kind of a, she was trying to, I guess, atone. Atone. For what she for did. What she did. But uh, she knows that she'll never be completely forgiven for that. I think. But and she was still little things, attempting. like hiding the swords. Yeah. And changing the chains yeah. of the silkling swords. Exactly. And all those little things like that. I'm like, she, yeah. She girl. actually did. She put herself at a lot more risk mm. than Mia expected her to. So obviously, the big ending is. In the earlier chapters, we meet this, I call him Shadow Octopus. I imagine his hands are like, it's like he's dipped his hands in like black paint, but not black paint, like greyish, but it's just like shadow paint. Yeah. But the tendrils that say come out of his hood, oh. do you imagine just like, the only way I can imagine is, think of the US God's Grave cover. You know how she's got those tendrils hanging out of her back? Yes, like the kind of like the like shadow wings. She's obviously wings. got his hood up, so you can't see his face, and yep. it's just that sort of, so he doesn't actually have tentacles that he can 
Yeah, it's just kind of like the shutter just basically. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, and his weird voice, like, I don't know, like, for those of you who read the voice, you know how Eclipse and Mr. Kindly's yeah. text is like Mr. Kindly's italics, and, and then Eclipse is like the short caps. So yeah. it sounds yeah. like he's like quietly shouting. <laughs> no, I didn't figure it out. I, just, I figure yeah. it is shout, like, really, like, growling. Just like, right, 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 right. This character also has fancy text, so yep. that makes me believe that he's not human. So I don't think he's human yeah. at all. Oh, no, neither. Yeah, but like how like you can fighting. differentiate yeah. that it's not exactly. a human being. So you don't pick it's him yeah. at the very beginning. So first of all he shows up and basically drops Mia this like prophecy bomb and she's like, well, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, yeah. And he like saves her ass from some bad guys mm -hmm. who are chasing her at that point after she kills someone at the start. He's like yeah. totally not important. Um, Is that the threesome dude? Yeah, the threesome yeah. dude. He pops up again at the very the end. end when Ash is running away from the Red Church who have found her and he kills the people who are chasing her, not the red not the red church, but the red church acolytes or whatever. Yeah. Kills them. And his last line is literally like, Hello Ashlyn. And Ashlyn, the last line of the fucking God's Grave book is trick. Some please. <sighs> trick is the shadow octopus. <laughs> Oh my god. Thoughts, feels, and opinions. Well, I knew I had a feeling he would come back. I knew he would I come knew back. He I knew he would pop up. You don't see a body, they're not dead. I exactly. said that in my Never Night review. Exactly. You don't see a body, he ain't dead. So I knew he'd come back, and I had a feeling that it would be literally on the last page. So after everything happened with all the revelations about Skava and like oh, all of that mm -hmm. shit happened, I was like, I am going to die. And then all of a sudden, bam, trick. I'm just bam, like, back. see, I, I was so excited that he was back, but then but knowing he was not human, not, human, human, not who he was. Because I loved mm. Trick as a yep. character. I thought he was like soft where he needed to be. He mm -hmm. was hard where he needed to be. Mm -hmm. He wasn't <laughs> moody. <laughs> I liked Trick as a character because yep. he wasn't dark and moody, broody, unless obviously Mia was mean to him. Yeah. Like he had a soft heart is the best way I could describe yes. Trick. Oh no, absolutely. Heart. Especially in the circumstances like his school for assassins, he was like the sweetest person. I know. And, and I was, was like, like he loved precious. Mia. Mm -hmm. He loved her so much. It would have been so lovely together. I know. Like and a good balance. He would have been like the ice to her fire, but then I yes. feel like Ashlyn is like the flint to her flame. So yeah. she's just sparking up. Yeah. Anyway, my point is... That is such a good way to put it, though. I know. How good was that? I love it. I was happy he was back. I was yep. sad it was. Like, I mean, we don't know anything really about him at the moment. He had like four no lines. Ideas we don't know much. Yeah. It was reading the text in that new text print that I was like, it doesn't... And the fact that he's talking like some fucking oracle or some shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm already like... It's trick, but it's not our trick. Because he came right at the end, like I always had that hope that he'd be there. But at the same time, it's been so long since we saw trick that I'd kind of already mourned the loss for him. I'll never let him go. Like I, I kind of accepted that he was dead and then he's brought back and like I think like because I, it's not him. Because it's, it's not him, it yeah, that's what I'm trying I'm to say. Yeah. Similar sort of like the first maybe before I got God's grave, and even before maybe like two or three months before I got a copy of it. I was still holding out the hope that he'd come back as him. Yeah, like I still had That's that exactly, love for yeah. him. Yeah. But then reading God's Grave and having him not appear at all, I don't feel the same. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not as in uh, obsessed with him I was, as I was. I was like, him. yeah, I wasn't like ecstatic that he was back. I was just shocked and I'm just confused. I don't know and how I'm I feel like, about him being back. Yeah, he's not him. I'm happy he's back, but I'm sad he's not not back but, really. As, yeah, so not how... back in the way we want him to be. Yeah, it's like we can't make that judgment until we've read the third book, which is gonna still be a while away. That's ages away. Like God's Grave has literally just come out. All the other new characters, like Leona and all that sort of shit. Like mm. I don't care about them. Blade Singer. I, I thought she was pretty cool. She was, was cool. intrigued. By it. I thought Tear Drinker was pretty groovy. Mm -hmm. I'll be cool to see her next. Like I don't. Yeah, I don't really care. I think it's kind of hard to care for the characters when we cared so much for the characters in book one and they get killed off. Killed off or like side. Push. Yeah, like hush. Where yeah. did he end up? I'm very curious to see mm. what's going on there. Mm. I feel like he could have more to do with. Um, I feel like he could come back and because he came back, obviously, for that brief, brief very, very brief. Moment. I feel like he could probably make a reappearance, and I'd be very intrigued to see the role he plays if he does. Do you have any predictions for book three? I honestly don't know because there's it's so hard because there's so many mysteries that obviously need to be elaborated upon like we don't know much at all about the dark in or the yeah. moon falling you know how who had a, like the moon and the sun had a had a sun yep so i think he's obviously where he fell yep and i don't know if that's gonna have a big part in regarding the dark in mm. like i I, yep. I, I'm, I don't theorize i'm bad at it i don't care i'm really it. bad at making yeah, so i just i theories. just don't do it i'm interested to see how john reacts to mia has he been raised to believe that she's a villain i would assume or he doesn't know. So, like, he he either wouldn't know, or would have been t would have heard probably stories. And does he Perhaps. know anything about being darkened? He's so young 
I feel like she can't take him with her on her trial. Well, like, that's the thing. Unless he's a badass as well. Yeah. Which is always weird. Like, did you ever read Maximum Red? No. Okay. Well, there's a character in there called Angel and she's only six. Yeah. And she does all these things that are older than a six-year-old, basically. Yes. Okay. Having a yeah. sister who's almost six, I find it hard to picture and believe a child that, that yeah. young doing a lot of the things. Yeah. I'm interested to see, like, if he just gets, like, not left behind with, like, Mercurio or something, but yeah. babysat, mm. I guess. Like, it'll... Yeah, I'm very, very curious because obviously he's not... It's going to be, like... I can't Absolutely imagine terrified of being yeah. abducted by me and not knowing who she is. I'm assuming he doesn't know. I hope Jonan's not useless. I worry just in general that Jonan will be the useless sibling that just spurs her into all these things. But she has, like, I know she's believed that he's dead. Yep. But she doesn't, Mia doesn't seem like the kind of person who does things for the good of other people. Mm -hmm. Like, with the exception occasionally. Bed on the I can't imagine Mia being. A sibling. I can't imagine her being in a position where she's like, I've got to kill someone for my brother. Mm. Or I've got to do something for my brother. I feel like it'll always be for her. Yeah. Well, she's lived so long by herself on the streets. And like, even just Johnny, who is like 10 years younger than her. Yeah, so much younger. And like, she would have only known him for like a year or two when he was a child. Like, a she has no child. memory. Yeah, exactly. Like, she would have like very no minimal memories of him. As well. No attachment because, like, at that stage, like, she doesn't yeah, even really have a brother, personality. But, like, yeah. There's that blood connection, but no actual connection they between don't know the two each other as, as people. people. Yeah. Jinx. <laughs> right now, that's all I can think of in terms of any threads that I was really. Mm. Like I said, it had a really different tone to Never Night. Very, so you very can't different. Compare them side by side. I mean, like, yeah, finding out the Red Church is, I guess, kind of the bad guy. Yeah. Because they had a hand in killing off her dad. And the fact that they knew that that was her mission, but, like, would have never allowed her to go off and done it because Skaver was bringing in money. So, like, they're off limits to anybody that's part of Red Church so just like they never said anything and then she like finds out about it and then she goes hunts for her dad's name yeah, like yeah, as one of the victims. Sort of I feel like some of the Shahids, Sh Shahids, Shahid, 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 the, the Shah teachers. Yeah some of them like Mia mm -hmm. as a like a student. I feel like they liked Mia enough that they have enough respect for her as a student. Yeah to not turn around and be a dick but yeah. also like I get that it's they're obviously loyal. Their jobs, yeah, so they're loyal like, to the church type thing. Like they're not gonna do. They're not gonna sacrifice themselves just for a yeah. student that they had for it. not very long at all. I'm really excited to learn more about the red church as well and that, that kind of corruption. So many else. things that were thrown at us that I just wasn't expecting. Some that I was. Those last like twenty, 20 pages. pages were absolute like, revelation, revelation, bonkers. revelation, revelation. My heart was beating so hard, and I was just like. <sighs> I'm a twat. I found spoilers before I finished it, like before I read it, because I, I don't know. I just I love spoilers, but still I can't deal it anyway. You. Can't deal. So with I you. knew like who lived, who died, who returned, yeah. who, like all the big revelations at the end. I knew them, but I didn't know how. Like it's always cool to see them written. So I wasn't, I wasn't like having a heart attack. I was, but I was also just kind of like, the fuck. Yeah, it was pretty freaking intense. Overall, I enjoyed the book. It was obviously like my favorite read of this year so far. Absolutely, it was a great sequel. Mm. A really great yeah, sequel. No second book syndrome. Exactly. Yeah. And I think it's a, it definitely helped that it was such a different book that it wasn't just kind of following in the footsteps of Never Night and trudging along until we get to the third book. Like, mm. obviously, there is a lot that yeah. is left to be revealed in the third book, but there's a lot, still a lot the of second book is like a whole new plot. Exactly. The vibe of it as mm. well. Not quite as much Venetian, like in the God's Grave side, but like mm. Rome, Gladiators, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is really cool. So it just felt like its own unique kind of book. Yeah. Which is really cool. Yeah. And like the launch last night was great. Like It was great. Scary. I'm just gonna get so scary. Yeah. really coming to mind. I'm sure there's going to be so many other things that we missed out mentioning, mm. but yeah, which we'll, we'll probably tweet about as we learn it throughout the year. Exactly. We'll wait for the next one. Yeah. We well, can chat about it in the comment section below. But thank you for joining me like on this video. We finally have a video together. Collabs. Yes. Collabs for life. Yes. It was a lovely weekend. It was a lovely weekend. With you. so much time. So much fun. <laughs> I'm not going with the time life. if you like. I'm just oh, staying. I just hop in your baggage and then come back to Brisbane with you. Mm -hmm. Well, that wraps up this video. Yes, yes. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And definitely go check out Pira's oh, yeah. channel. I'll have links all down below. Please. She's amazing. I love her. She's 
talked about books and swears a lot. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. I have a lot of animals. She has a lot of animals, and her bird is called Trick. So her bird is called it's Trick. amazing. She did a video on <laughs> Trick. Hey, my son. Yeah. It's cool. Beautiful. So go check it out. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.